How are y'all and welcome back to another episode of KCG Plays. Today we are doing another challenge video in Luck Be A Landlord and this challenge was sent in by Stephanie so thanks very much for that and it is the ultimate hoarder challenge so no skips, no removal capsules and no rerolls. Uh, previously on the, on the channel I've done the no skip challenge and I've done the no removal or reroll capsule challenge so this is kind of like an amalgamation of the two of them so i'm expecting it to be quite difficult we will start at floor number one and let's jump into it we're on a bit of a losing streak in look be a landlord at the moment so hopefully this will turn around i'll take a cheese first and here i could take a shiny pebble if we can get a few eaters That'll definitely help a lot. I'll take a second cheese. And here we could try for cultist, but I think dwarf is probably better since we've already tried to start stacking luck. And we made the first round payment with six left over. 50 now due in five spins. We could take a, let's take an orange. It has two things that remove it. And here we'll take a guillotine. Now I'm feeling a bit sad that I didn't gamble on the bounty hunter, on the billionaire, but that's what it is. Let's take an anchor. And here, let us take a bubble because it removes itself. Let's take another cheese and we're definitely hoping to get a mouse sometime soon. Out of these, let's take a crab because it's possible again to be removed by the diver. And we made the 50 red paint with 22 left over. Not too bad. 100 now due in six spins. We could try hexatidium, but I think coconut half is probably better. It gives two and it is possible to be removed. Um, blue pepper, I don't think is going to be relevant for well, it'll be relevant for a while longer, like another three, four spins, so it'll give us like 10. Let's take a milk for the cat. And 24, not too bad. Okay, let's take a pinata. And here we'll take a banana peel. So we're looking for a cat. We're looking for a toddler or we're looking for a no not a cat sorry a mouse a toddler and a monkey there goes the monkey and we made the 100 rent paint with 55 left over not too bad 150 now due in six spins the only problem we have we'll take a plum because it's worth two and it is possible to be removed and i think we could take a shrine that could lead to maybe like a general Zarf run. Could be decent enough. We could take a beer for the dwarf, but I think a lucky capsule will be will be better. Oh, Mrs. Fruit is great. The only problem is we now have a monkey. So Mrs. Fruit and the monkey will be competing, which isn't fantastic, but what can you do? I'll take an apple, it's worth three. And here we do have a lockbox, so I'll take a key. And a seed has a good chance of hitting something that is edible. By either Mrs. Well, Mrs. Fruit's got the highest range of things. Let's a uh, reroll caps is completely useless. Big ore, not on this run. Let's take another coconut, and we could take cross katana. Sure. Okay, our board is starting to get pretty full now. We do have a lot of things that are theoretically able to be removed. Geologist is great. I think Geologist is one of the fastest scaling of the eaters because every ore, we have to take a mouse to get rid of the cheese. Every ore gives you two things that they're capable of eating instead of one. Okay, here let's take a big ore. And we need, how are we doing on the old rent payment? Okay, we should make rent with no problem. 
Let's take a Hexa Hoarding, has no downside, apart from the fact that it takes up a slot and only gives three. Or we could take, let's take a seed. If it grows into anything other than a flower, it's good. Two seeds, they haven't grown yet. We did take Cursed Katana. I think an ore is probably better. There's the Geologist and the Mrs. Fruit. This is, the fact we got both of them is great on this run. We made the 225 rent pin with 46 left over. 300 now due in seven spins. Let's take another coconut half and let's take purple pepper will probably not proc for us anytime soon. Let's take a wanted poster. We would take a teeth. Okay, Mrs. Fruit is doing fantastic. She's up to 11 now. This is great. Let's take another coconut half. Okay, we don't want an oyster. Let's take a hex of tedium, I guess. It's not fantastic, but it's all right. Okay, out of these, we still don't have a toddler, so candy's not very good. We'll take a banana. Now have two banana peels, which isn't great. I guess we could take another hex of tedium. 38. We don't want a second mouse, but I wouldn't mind taking a lockbox. Okay, there goes our key. And the geologist was eating some stuff. Let's take a toddler because we do have this pinata to get rid of. Yeah, I was sure that I had two lockboxes, was just double checking that. Okay, a mouse is eating around, we're getting about 50. So we made the 300 rent pound with 78 left over, a nice amount. And here, let's take a, a tomb, gives three, pretty decent. That is unfortunately not good. Mining pick those, great. And so we need some way now of breaking. Oh, I don't want any of these. I think this is the first one that I've come up to where I'm actually like, I don't like any of these symbols. Let's take a cultist. It's completely useless, but on the other hand, I might be able to remove it. We'll take an anchor there. Okay, now we're getting to the stage where the deck is a bit bloated. 40 per turn, four turns, and we need 100, so we should make it. Take another seed, let's see, a banana. Okay. Here we could take a target. We need some way to get rid of these bananas. We need a teeth. I'll take a coconut for the scaling. Okay, I don't want any of these. Let's take an oyster. Okay, the toddler is clearing up the deck nice enough. 46, we made the 350 rent pound with 69 left over, nice. 425 now due in eight spins. So we are scaling about the rate of rent right now. Let's take a big ore for the geologist and... Did I take, what did I take there, the dog? No, I took the cultist. There's one less for every symbol in your inventory with two or more. How many is that? One, two, three. Okay, so that should be worth like five per turn. It's worth three per turn. Oh, we've banana peels. One, two, three. I don't know how it works. Okay, let's take the bubble. I'm getting about 45 per spin. Let's take a cherry for Mrs. Fruit. Okay, deck's being cleared up a little bit. 55 that spin. Five spins to get 225. We should make it, I believe. Let's take a bubble. Okay, and out of these, we could take a Hexa hoarding, work three, so it's not too bad. 
Monkey's eating up there. 56. Billionaire is great. It just rolls in and gets killed. 44. Hmm. I'll take a turtle. We definitely wouldn't mind having a diver on this run. There's a few things the diver will be able to get rid of. Take a coconut half. There goes our billionaire for a massive 80, which is close. We made the 425 rent payment with only 54 left over, so not quite as good as uh, we didn't scale quite with rent. 575 now due in nine spins. Frozen fossil. Will we survive 20 spins? So that's the question. I think Big Earn is probably better. Anthropology degree is quite good though. We need some way of getting rid of these urns. I'll take a candy for the toddler. We also haven't gotten anything like um, that improves our eaters actually. We have a lockbox, so I'll take a key. Six say we're getting 60 per spin. Let's take a ninja. That'll give me three, I believe, with the anthropology degree. 70, that spin, that was good. Let's take a item capsule versus a shiny pebble. An item capsule, I think, could be better. Got pizza the cat, okay. Like worth one extra per spin. 60, that spin. Four spins to get about 200, should do that, no problem. Let's take a cherry. Okay, Mrs. Fruit rolling in, eating it straight away. That's great. Let's take a second target. Definitely wouldn't mind a arrow of some kind, preferably silver or better, but to be honest, I'd take anything. Okay, 70 on that spin. He should do it, I think. 55, ah, so close, only five under. So this run was pretty, pretty good. Like, I mean, we got we got an early Mrs. Fruit, we got an early Geologist. We didn't fill our deck up too much with rubbish. We had a few banana peels there we got it done to get rid of. But unfortunately, just didn't, didn't make it. But definitely a very good attempt. I, I thought this run definitely had potential. If we'd had some way of getting rid of these, if we had, for example, gotten, what is it, the Grave Robber item, definitely would have helped. Maybe taking the Hexatediums was a mistake, but had to take something, and I thought they were the best offer. But yeah, we didn't. A Diver would have cleared up quite a lot of the deck as well. It was a good attempt, but unfortunately, a tough challenge, and we didn't quite make it. But let's give it another go. Not bad for our first attempt. Let's take a mouse first. And a cheese for the mouse, I don't mind. Okay, here we'll take a banana. And let's take an seed. Hope it doesn't grow into a flower. Anything else will be okay. We made the first rent paint with six left over. Bar soap is pretty good. Grave robber is pretty good. Okay, here, let's take another bubble. Let's take a cheese for the mouse. 34, we're definitely, let's take a big R because it's worth two. And here, let's take a banana. So two bananas and two cherries. I wouldn't mind a Mrs. Fruit. Here, let's take a Coke. Sick Gimble 7 and let's take, I don't want small symbol bomb, pool ball. Should be okay. 
Okay, oh, we could take another seed, but I think buffing capsule is probably better. I mean, it's not great. It'll only give us three that turn, but it's not filling up our deck. Could take a Hex of Destruction. There goes our banana. And now the question is, what do we do? We don't need a Bounty Hunter. Let's go Cultist. All right, there goes our big ore. Let's go second mouse, since we do have this Hex of Destruction. Let's take a Chemical 7. And we made the 100 rent payment with 56 left over, not bad. 150 now due in six spins. Let's take a third Chemical 7 and let's take a Lockpick. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good so far, that'll guarantee our next rent payment. Let's take an urn. Hope it hits the. Oh, we have grave rubber. Forgotten about that. Let's take a second hex of destruction. Okay. Let's take a five sided dice. Over a cultist. Okay, these hexes are definitely clearing out the deck. Let's take an item capsule. Ninja and mouse. Okay, decent. Not bad, let's take a target. And we made the 150 rent paint with 109 left over, which is great. 225 due in seven spins. Let's take a rabbit fluff and let's take. We could take a lunch box. Or we could take a treasure map. This will give about 50. This is unlikely to give more than 50, I don't think. Okay, out of these, we could take a turtle, I guess. A billionaire. We'll hope he gets hit by the Hex's destruction fairly soon. Vi creature is okay with me. And out of these, ooh, Hex of Emptiness. Or a diamond. We could try and go kind of suits. Suits aren't bad actually with hexes of destruction taking out things. So let's let's try and go for a kind of a suits run. And we do have a banana peel, so let's take a thief. We actually don't have a dwarf. There goes our second mouse. Isn't great. But we made the 225 rent payment with 46 left over, so we didn't scale quite with rent. Let's take a Big ore. Let's take a quickly dwarf. Hexes are having a great time at the moment. Let's take a lockbox. Okay, taken out by the lockpick, no problem at all. On the hex of emptiness, let's take a coconut. All right, there goes our thief and our billionaire. So good roll there. I did take quickly the wolf, so we'll take a dog. If we can fill the board up with wolves, we'll do okay. Like A, B, I guess. Okay, we're getting about 28 per spin. Diamond, so they should all be worth two now, which is not great, but okay. Removal capsule is useless. Let's take a safe. And we made the 300 rent payment exactly, which doesn't bode well for the future. We could take a sun or a billionaire. The only thing we have taken out the billionaires is the hex of destruction. Let's take the sun and here is a guillotine. So could have taken the billionaire. There goes our rabbit fluff. Let's take a target. Oh, hit by the sun. Flowers worth something again. 46. Okay, let's take a coconut, I guess. If the Hex of Destruction hits it, Hex of Destruction took out another Hex of Destruction. Okay, that's uh, something. Here, let's take a Sapphire, I guess. Again, 28 per turn is not great. Take a Chemical 7. There goes our Sapphire. 
71 that turn, pretty good. Let's take a lucky capsule. And are we going to make the next rent pin? We'll take a silver arrow, that'll help if it hits one of these arrow targets. Two directions, one in four chance. Let's take an omelette just because it's worth three. Okay, we now have two coconut halves. But well, unfortunately, we didn't make rent payment. So this one, we tried to go hex of destruction to kind of keep down the items we have. We did keep down the items, but unfortunately, well, it didn't take out anything too important. It took out our mice, but that's pretty much all. We just didn't get, didn't get anything to, didn't get any monkeys for the coconuts. Didn't get any scaling. Tried to go for a bit of a suits deck on the basis that that actually took out one of our suits might be decent with hex of destruction taking out things and i think maybe is the way to go if you guys have any tips on what strategy should be or if you've played this uh, challenge yourself please let me know in the comments that's all for today though hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give us a like and subscribe to see more we'll be back tomorrow with another floor nine run so i hope to see you there and until next time guys take care of yourselves and cheers for now